CataractCoach.com, a dense white cataract with a surprise. Now, this patient should have had cataract surgery many years prior. It's a complete cataract case operated by me, shown start to finish. 2x speed, so we get through it efficiently. You can see there's the cataract, dense white cataract. You've got some sneaky there of the eyes. You can break that pretty easily. Put a little lidocaine with epinephrine inside the eye, maybe phenylephrine, whatever you've got. A little bit of tripan blue dye. Now, we're not expecting any zonulopathy. Everything seemed pretty normal with this little lamp. It's just that it was a very, very dense cataract. So wash out that tripan blue dye. Now, if you suspect zonulopathy, then don't fill the whole AC. But now look at the lens capsule. What do you see? There's some fibrotic bands on it. Now, this patient has such a dense cataract and had this cataract for many, many years and just never wanted surgery, afraid of surgery. So finally, we're doing the surgery now. But you can see there's some fibrotic bands there. So let's see what happens when we try to get the rexes done. So we'll try poking with the forceps. But look, what, what happens? God, it's just tough to. It's just like a thick fibrotic band. Let's get a cystitome. Let's get something sharper. A little more viscoelastic, a little viscomedriasis there. Osher taught us that. Osher is the godfather of cataract surgery videos. We love him. Now, going inside here, let's get that cystitome out. There we go. And now we can poke in. Let's see. What, what, what can, oh, my gosh. Look at that thing. That's a dense fibrotic band. Now, some people say lift up the capsule. And you can go under the capsule and remove the fibrotic tissue. Okay, but let's see if we can just kind of poke through this thing. So I got a little bit of an opening there. Can we start tearing it? That's pretty reasonable. I want a nice juicy rexus here. You know, with this type of den dense cataract, I don't want a baby rexus. Now, we'll get the rexus kind of formed. And you can see it's not easy to tear here. And at the end, it's kind of just stuck here. What do you want to do now? Think. What should you do now? Um, I'll use that cystitome again. Let's just kind of cut through these bands that's there. Look at that. That's a thick fibrotic band. And, okay, cut, cut, cut. And let's make sure we're all good. That looks pretty good, right? Okay. Look at that. Get that thing out of the eye. Now let's do some FACO. Now do a little hydrodissection. But, again, this is a pretty dense nucleus. It does rotate. So there's not much lens cortex that's there. A lot is leucophyte. Now going to bring the nucleus up. Look at that. Look at that. Partially prolapsed out of the bag. Now, I don't want to have to deal with this small pupil. Patient got Flomax, small pupil. There's maybe some iris prolapse coming up. I know it's going to be tough. Plus, the patient has, I don't know if you can tell here, a very, oh, don't, don't fake with the iris, buddy. The patient has a very, very deep orbit. Patient's very, very gaunt, very thin, and very little orbital fat. So these eyes are really sunken in. So we're operating just super deep here. And so now we're going to just buzz into this cataract. You can see we can break it up into smaller pieces, chop it, chop it. I just want to chop up little bits at a time. The technique here is I just want to take my time, go nice and slow. We're using phaco power modulation to try to minimize the energy here. We may have to recoat the endothelium. We've got to be careful of that iris. Look at it. It wants to even prolapse through the paresthesis. Now, you could say, well, why don't you put an iris hooks in? You could, definitely. Why don't you put in a pupil ring? You can do that too, whatever you like. But again, if you don't need to, you don't need to. And so here we're just chopping it up again. And you can see that small pupil is helpful. We're actually holding the pupil open with the nucleus. And again, you got to be very careful. You don't want to aspirate or, you know, damage that iris. But you can see we're getting the pieces up nice and easy. And I just don't want to operate in the bag in this case. I want to bring these pieces at least partially up. I think it's a safer spot for me here. I don't know what's going on with the pathology here. The patient's B scan ultrasound was okay. But you obviously, we can't visualize anything until we get this dense cataract out of the eye. I have a lot of opacity here. Patient even had some sensory exotropy, hasn't seen it out of the eye in that long. Now, what we're going to do here, recoat the endothelium with their dispersive viscoelastic. Look at that, recoat that endo. There you go. And now we'll go back in here again, take out these last few pieces, and let's see what we get here. So the surprise was obviously a fibrotic lens capsule, which we didn't really see too easily at the slit lamp preoperatively. But once you had the tripen blue dye there, you could make it out pretty easily. But there's still one more surprise coming up. Yeah. Now, did I tell you about Retina Rounder's sister channel? Amazing sister channel. You've got to check it out. Don't make me keep telling you. I know you do cataract surgery like me. I know. I know. I love it too. But there's so much you can learn. I promise you will love it. Now, cleaning up the cortex here. It all looks pretty good. Oop, don't aspirate the iris. And again, maybe we'll check again. So we should probably lift up that iris. Why don't we put the lens in first? And then when the eye is full of viscoelastic, we can lift up that iris and check. And that's where we're going to find the other surprise. Let me show you. Here comes the viscoelastic, cohesive viscoelastic going inside the eye, filling up that capsule bag. Let's get the lens in. Single piece acrylic lens, aiming for, actually, this patient wants a little bit of a myopic tar target. So we're aiming for a little bit of minus, maybe minus one-ish. Get that lens in the bag. Now, here's where you definitely need that chopper. 
you have to ensure the lens is totally in the bag. And so lift up the iris and now check and make sure there's no residual lens material there. Oh, look at, did you see that? Did you see, what is that? Look at this, a surprise. Look at that. We probably should get that out. Let's get that, there we go. That's why we check. Now let's check again. Because a patient like this could have like chronic inflammation after surgery. You're thinking, why? But why? And why well, there's some lens material retained. And because the patient doesn't dilate in the post-op period, you wouldn't even see it. So this is the time to check. And so, yeah, call me OCD. Call me compulsive for sure. But I'm glad I checked. Now, again, taking out the viscoelastic here. We're going to be pretty gentle in the side. I don't want to manipulate the bag too much. I know we've got a couple of areas of weakness where we have to cut the capsule. But look at that. Beautiful result. And of course, the patient, amazed on post-op day one. Hey, thanks for checking this out. Remember, check out our sister channel, retinarounds.com. So much great material, even for cataract surgeons like you and me. I promise you're going to love it.